How do you make comparisons between an equation and a graph? Let's find out. In this lesson you will learn how to compare two functions by analyzing an equation and a graph. So to review, a graph is a visual representation of a function relation. It's not a separate entity, it's just a way to show a picture form of the function relation. So here we have the input pair, the input output pair 1, comma 2, input output pair 2, comma 4, and 3, comma 6. And what we see that is the input comes first on the horizontal axis or the x axis and then uh, the output comes second. That's because the output depends upon what the input is, is. So when the input is put into the function, the output is what you get as a result of that input. So that it's just a picture representation of the function relation. An equation is an algebraic representation of a function relation. We're not expected to build these yet, but I just want to show that if I have an input and output, it looks like that every time I get an input, I can multiply it by 2 and that would give me the output. So an equation would look like y equals 2 times x. A mistake that is, I usually see is when looking at an equation, uh, the rate of change can be mistaken to be the constant and the y-intercept can be mistaken to be the coefficient of x. And if you would follow that through and look at a graph, you'd be looking at the wrong graph because that would be the graph of y equals 2x plus 4. And that doesn't match. So remember we said the graph is a picture representation of an equation or a function relation. All right. So we know that the rate of change is the coefficient while the y-intercept is the constant. And that would show a correct graph. And so that way the graph matches uh, the equation. So California offers five cents for every soda can brought in to recycle. The input and output are shown below. And for every can brought in, five cents more is given to uh, as recycling money. So the constant rate of change here is five cents. Every time you bring a can, one more can, it gives you five more cents. So an equation for that could be y equals five cents times x. Across the map, Michigan offers 10 cents for every soda can brought in to recycle. So checking out those input and output pairs, one can yields 10 cents, two cans yields 20 cents, and three cans yields 30 cents. We put these input output pairs on a graph. And so what we want to do is compare the two. So we have an equation for California and a graph for Michigan. Well, they're both functions. How can I tell that from an equation? Well, from an equation, every time I put an input into x, or, and I get an output for y. And there's not multiple outputs. So that meets the definition of a function. Also from the graph, I can see, I can plainly see that each input has exactly one output. There's no um, multiple outputs for inputs. And so that also meets the definition of a function. Each function is one to one. How can I tell that from an equation? It's not readily apparent, but I know that if I was to put one in, one can, my, my return would be five cents. Two cans would be 10 cents. Three cans would be 15 cents. I know that each amount of cans I bring back is going to give me a unique answer. And what that means is that no amount of cans, such as three, four, or five, shares the same return value. Each one is different. So because each input-output pair is unique, that's a one-to-one -one function. I can plainly see that on the graph, that every set of cans brought back has a different rate of return. So each function is one-to-one, -one, and each function has a constant rate of change. California's is five cents, Michigan's is 10 cents. And what we can say about that is that Michigan's rate of change is greater than California's rate of change. And finally, looking at a graph, just remember that the rate of change is the coefficient of x. It's the change in y divided by the change in x. And the y-intercept is the constant. It's the value of y when x is 0. In this lesson, you've learned how to compare two functions by analyzing an equation and a graph.